there are situations where the name on the Azure portal, name of the VM on the Azure portal is not that you wanted that name to be. It could be because when you were doing the migration, you forgot to change the name or by mistake, the name is uh, not exactly what it's supposed to be. There could be n number of reasons the name of the VM on the Azure portal is not what you wanted and you got to change the name. Okay, so the essence of the uh, story is you got to change the name of the Azure VM on the Azure portal. How do you do that? Hello everyone, my name is Arun and today we are going to change the name of uh, Azure VM that appears on the Azure portal. Okay, all right, so you can see right here we have the options like config configuration or properties, but there is no option where we can change the name of the VM. Under properties, you won't find anything. The only way we can change the name of the VM as of now is deleting the VM and recreate the VM with the help of remaining disk that is the only way we have right now maybe something comes in the future so right now the name is AS ASR VM2 and let me delete this okay uh, I'll show you one more thing let's suppose this is the V this is the IP address there is an IIS config web is going on inside this VM you can see if I try to access this it must show the website IIS come on you can see it says hello Pachera talks from ASR VM2 okay so this is running on the public IP address of this VM. You can see that's the public IP address. So let's go ahead and change the name of the Azure VM. Let's delete it. Go to the disk quickly. Click this disk. Once this VM would be deleted, we would have this option available to choose. Right now it's grayed out because that's in use. This disk is attached, okay? And uh, let's wait. All right, it took uh, a lot of time, but finally it's deleted. Okay. And we have this VM right here. And it says create VM option is not grayed out anymore. So we can simply go ahead and create the VM out of the disk and we can change the name. As you can see, even with the help of disk, you can figure out what was the name of the VM. It was something ASR VM. Two, we are going to change the name as uh, test VM2. Okay, let's put this in availability set. Okay, uh, resource group is okay. Okay, and choose the size. B2MS. All right, let's disk is there and we got the can use the okay. Review and create. It's going through the validation and the validation is passed. Now you can see the name was different now we are creating a different name with the help of same disk which was the remains once the VM was deleted so it would take few minutes and you would have new VM which is actually the old one with the new name so that's how you can change the name of Azure VM there are another ways because it require requires at least 10 to 15 minutes of downtime you can also take the snapshot of the disk, create a, a disk out of the snapshot, snapshot and create VM from that disk. Once the VM is up and running with the new name, you can shut down this VM and you can keep using the other VM as well. 
okay so it totally depends the kind of uh, environment you have the kind uh, whether your organization is providing you the downtime or they want you to do multiple steps because this is the uh, simplest or smallest way to change the name of the view as of now okay so VM is in progress the deployment is underway and you can see uh, everything is created with the new name the new NSG the new IP and once the VM is up and running we'll try to run the public IP of that VM so that we can be sure your website your IIS website is up and running because we can see uh, this is in the cache as of now this is the IP address of the old VM and this is what the IA is throwing us okay so let's wait all right it took a while but now it says deployment is complete let's go to the resource this is our VM okay let's check the NSG whether we have we got allowed the port 80 and 443 to check our port 80 to check the IIS configuration with the public IP that we have got for this VM just to be sure everything is intact we just changed the name and didn't mess up anything else okay we are there it has been added let's go to the public IP see everything is same this is coming with the new public IP so this is your new VM all right and the name has changed configuration remains the same well thank you for watching you have a good day